Hello pet lovers, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a juicy topic to discuss that concerns the well-being of our furry friends. Have you ever wondered if it's a good idea to treat your pets to some delicious fruits? Well, you're in for a treat because that's exactly what we'll be exploring today. Let's dive into Pets and Fruits, a nutritional nibble. Before we jump into the fruity goodness, let's talk a bit about pet nutrition. Our beloved pets, whether they are dogs, cats, or even rabbits, have unique dietary needs. Just like us, they benefit from a well-balanced diet to thrive and stay healthy. A balanced diet includes proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals. And yes, fruits can be a wonderful source of some of these essential nutrients. Now let's explore the benefits of incorporating fruits into your pet's diet. Fruits are not only tasty, but they also offer a range of nutrients that contribute to your pet's overall well-being. Many fruits contain vitamins like A, C, and K, along with minerals and antioxidants. These elements support your pet's immune system, aid digestion, and contribute to a shiny coat and healthy skin. Imagine the joy on your pet's face as they nibble on a delicious apple slice or enjoy the sweetness of a banana. It's not just a treat for their taste buds, but also a nutritional boost. While fruits offer numerous benefits, it's crucial to be aware of the fruits that should be kept out of your pet's bowl. Some fruits can be harmful or toxic to certain animals. For example, grapes and raisins can be toxic to dogs, causing kidney damage. Onions and garlic, although not fruits, are commonly found in households and should be avoided as they can be harmful to both dogs and cats. Always double check before introducing a new fruit to your pet's diet. And if you're ever uncertain, it's best to consult your veterinarian. Now that we've covered the benefits and precautions, let's talk about serving suggestions. How can you introduce fruits to your pet's diet in a safe and enjoyable way? Firstly, always remove seeds, pits, and any parts that may be difficult for your pet to digest. Small, bite-sized pieces are ideal, making it easier for them to enjoy the fruity goodness without any risk of choking. And there you have it, folks. The scoop on pets and fruits. It's clear that, when done right, adding a variety of fruits to your pet's diet can be a delightful and nutritious experience. Remember, moderation is key, and always consider your pet's individual preferences and dietary needs. If you have any doubts or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to your veterinarian for personalized advice. That wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more pet-friendly content. Do you have any fruity stories about your pets? Share them in the comments below. Until next time, this is Better Life, signing off. Happy nibbling.